Now, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, welcome, everybody, to, um, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> My Little Pony, Treasures Magic, Season 2, Episode 4, and this is the famed, the awesome, the most amazing episode that everybody's been anticipating. This is Luna Eclipsed, the Halloween episode, or, uh, I think it's called, uh, Nightmare Night in this show? Yeah. It's Nightmare Night episode. You're probably wondering why I'm wearing a jacket because I'm wearing a white beater because I don't want to actually show you guys that. Anywho, let's get on with this episode. This episode is actually a very, very good episode. I'd give it a straight 10 out of 10. Me and my brother had a freaking blast watching this episode. And uh, some disturbing discussions came up out of this episode, too. It is. It, we're, me and my brother are just messed up people. You don't really want to get into the middle of our conversations, and our conversations get weird very quickly. Anywho, <clears throat> uh, if you guys remember from my anniversary, my one year My Little Pony Friendship with Magic Anniversary review, or if you've never watched it, you probably know that Luna is the one pony I would date. This episode has reinforced that for me completely. It has. And of course that question was actually if I was a pony, so don't worry, I'm not into BCLM. Anywho. This episode is actually very good. Uh, it starts out with uh, Toilet Sparkle dressed as a wizard, really imaginative, and uh, <laughs> Spike dressed as a dragon. Again, really imaginative. And <laughs> we just get to see the imagination of these two go absolutely nowhere. While Pinkie Pie dresses, acts, and eats like a chicken. Yeah. Yeah, I was expecting Scootaloo to be his chicken, but you know, whatever. She's probably going out being a dodo. No, she wasn't. I'm blind. But you know what? We also get introduced to a new character called, uh, I think, Pipsqueak, who's pretty much, um, uh, what's his name? The kid from A Christmas Carol. Uh, freak, why can't I remember his name? Little Timmy, I think, where he goes, God bless us, everyone. Yeah, pretty much he reminds me of that, except for not as annoying to me. Uh, we get introduced to Luna in a new form. Yes, back when she had that nice short mane that looks like a, almost like a, a short Dakota fanning hair, um, is now this huge flowing dual colored uh, translucent mane with actual sparks in it to make it seem like night, uh, the night sky. Uh, her, her color has gotten darker. She's gotten a little bigger in comparison to when she was the first time. And most people will go continuity error, but I'm saying, well, after a thousand years of being in the in the wrong body. I think she just, time just finally caught up to her and allowed her to grow back into her normal form. So I'm just going to go and attribute that to that. And this episode, <laughs> this episode is pretty awesome because we actually get to find out a little more of the lore of Ponyville itself. This is actually a very good episode because I love these types of episodes where somebody actually builds on the mythology and the setting of the place that they're going off of, like Avatar the Last Airbender, or even Dragon Ball Z, where they have rules to, and, and holidays to these worlds, and they're not just static little worlds that you get to watch crazy little things go on in, even though that's probably why you watch it. Um, Luna comes in. Actually, first off, we learn, how, we learn what Fright Nightmare Night really is. It's where all the ponies dress up in costume because they believe Nightmare Moon would actually come, off, come out that night, and if she saw any ponies, she'd eat them. Pretty savage, but still, it's pretty much the exact same way Halloween was started, even though Halloween was started a lot, a lot more dark. It was Hollow's Eve, where the dead would come back to life, or the dead would have one night to roam the earth, and they would kill anybody they recognized, so they had people dress up in costume. And most of the time, it was a superstition that most of the people who were dead would go after the children. So they had the children dress up in costume, and to reward the children for doing this on this one special night, they would give children candy or money. It has the same principles here, except for in pony form, and with Nightmare Moon gobbling them up. So Sakura is actually the one to explain all this, just as I, the one black brony, is actually explaining this to you. No, I'm, I know I'm not the only black brony out there. Don't, don't do anything like that. So she, Sakura is explaining this, and out of nowhere, and I mean a very good entrance, is done by Luna herself on a on a this badass like hardcore metal chariot ran by pony demon 
bodyguards. I don't know if they're in costume or do they have dragon wings? So I'm like, maybe. Oh, and uh, Rainbow Dash is going around being a douche and uh, like shooting lightning at people, but that's minor right now. And of course, Luna comes in. Everybody pisses their pants. And this episode almost makes me go. Why are you guys so dense? Everybody in this episode, except for Twilight Sparkle, is probably the most dense they've ever been in the show. Remember at the end of uh, Friendship is Magic, or uh, was it? No, Friendship is Magic Part 2, where Luna is actually accepted by all of Ponyville. Well, for some reason, everybody fears her now. I don't know why, she's cute as hell. And, and uh, of course, they fear her and think she's still Nightmare Moon, when everybody, especially the main six, like Applejack, Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, Twilight, Fluttershy, all of them know, oh, and Rarity, who doesn't show up in this episode, I wonder why, um, all know that she's no longer Nightmare Moon. She is now Luna. She returned to normal. And I thought everybody came to grips with this fact, but apparently not. And also, another thing that changed is the demeanor and speaking style of Luna. She's now into this old English, very um, regal speak, using the word we instead of I, and using thighs and thous, and also most wonderful of nights, using very old English, which I actually thought was a very nice touch. She's been gone for a thousand years. This episode is actually very good. This has a lot of funny parts in it, a lot of parts you can make fun of. Honestly, though, if I really had to pin down what was the best part of this episode, I'd have to say Luna herself was just the perfect part of this episode. She actually sets up a very, very believable um, characteristics of somebody who's been gone a thousand years and who is used to something, to ruling a world a thousand years back. And she, I, I, honestly, some of it I'm questioning, like, uh, why doesn't Luna know what fun is? It seems like Celestia has fun all the time trolling ponies. So I would think that Luna would know what fun is anyway. And honestly, the overreactions to her when she actually does get feared and then the sadness that comes afterward is actually very appropriate. It's something that actually could, that does happen in real life, personal experience. Um, these th All these things together cul culminate together and just make this episode very good and very, very, uh, sort of beautiful. It's not a, it's a very funny episode, it's a very good episode, but really what I came away from it, after all the laughs, all the jokes, all the, all the references, like how Zakor is dressed up as, uh, Vampirella, if you notice, uh, there's a pony in the background who's dressed up as Scorpion, there's another Big Macintosh, I think is Jack the Ripper, and all these other things, but after all that, I kind of got this, um, you get the, you actually do get the message of how somebody can come from the outside in on friendship when they are feared. And I, me having to actually deal with that in real life, uh, completely agreed with the episode and thought this episode was fantastic on uh, putting across that message. Pinkie Pie is in this episode uh, this is completely off subject, but um, I'm going to move on to what made this episode, uh, what supported this episode. Pinkie Pie being crazy, I, I'm serious, she first fears Luna throughout the episode, and at the end you figure out she doesn't fear her at all. She just likes being a scared idiot. Thank you, Pinkie Pie. You've been screwing up the whole night, but you know, hey, you got your laughs. Rainbow Dash gets electrocuted. She shows up like three times in the episode, so it doesn't matter. Rarity doesn't show up. Applejack shows up for about a little while. This is more of a Twilight and Luna episode with a lot of side character input. Like the new children, who are like Pipsqueak and Noe, like N-O-I, Noe, or Noir or something, I don't know. I can't say it. But um, these characters are more focused on, including Luna. A lot of new magic stuff is actually introduced, like Zakora being able to actually create illusions. I did not know she could do this. Uh, Luna's magic is shown more, and also Fluttershy shows up for a very, 
very amusing, uh, <laughs> very amusing minute or two where she is freaking the heck out about Luna. <laughs> and you and you're probably wondering why, because well, she's Fluttershy. What what else is gonna happen? And that part was just that part had me rolling on the floor. <laughs> Because that was just so, that was just a great episode. I'm sorry, great part of the episode. This episode is just a perfect 10 out of 10. It's not as funny as Twilight going insane, not by a mile, but the sincerity and beauty of this episode is actually something that has to be grabbed. The animation is so superb on this episode, actually, that it actually kind of made me take back, like, and think about how the other episodes were animated, which were animated confidently, but this, this had a little more oomph to it, and it had a little more matzi. But other than that, this episode is going to coin so many memes, especially fun. The fun has been doubled. I'm saying it now before anybody puts a meme above it. The fun has been doubled! There. I did it first. Ha! <laughs> but yeah, there is going to be so many memes of this. There is going to be so... Get your pony... Look out for pony soundboards with a whole section just for Luna now. Uh, but other than that, this episode is... I, I've already told you how much I love this episode already. I've said everything I could. And uh, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go trick-or-treat. <laughs>